Your sketches with David Letterman, was that your big break? Absolutely. How did that come about? Uh, I met Dave when I was a tour guide at Rockefeller Center. I was selling, uh, I was up on the observation deck selling tickets to uh, go up there and look at the view at Rockefeller Center and he came up with his mom. So I sold him the kitty fair <laughs> and he thought that was cute. This was during his morning show and I applied for a job on the, uh, 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 when late night started and I got hired as a runner. Just a runner. Uh, a runner. Uh, it was a very skeleton crew, small m amount of people. And I guessed it on that show. Y yes. Yeah. yeah. And, well, you don't remember, we had a long conversation there. I ah, forget it. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> uh, no, I think I got you coffee um, at, at some point because that's what touch? I was doing. Do you keep in touch with David? Uh, occasionally. I saw him, the last time I saw him, uh, he invited me down to, he was getting an award, uh, for, uh, the Mark Twain Award. Oh, so, yeah. so I went down uh, for that. But, um, uh, yeah, occasionally we'll exchange, you know. Do you like Stephen Colbert? Yeah, I do. I think all these guys are great. I think they're all doing a terrific job. I think uh, I have a soft spot for Jimmy Kimmel because he's a, a close friend of mine and, Good and guy. Uh, just a sweetheart. And a funny story about him with me, when he was just a kid, he grew up in Las Vegas, late night went to Vegas with the show. And I, I played a character called Skylark, which was kind of this weird Vegas entertainer that came out and did a horrible act. And then at the end of the act, I threw my, my scarf into the audience. And the person who caught the scarf was Jimmy Kimmel. And I think he was like 15 at the time he <laughs> snuck in. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.